Hello there people and welcome to another episode of Montmartre TV. What you just saw was me painting a tiger in the Chinese Sumi painting technique. You see, the other day I was in our showroom and these Chinese brush sets caught my eye. So I thought it might be nice to do a lesson in this ancient art form. You see, Montmartre carry three Chinese brush sets. One Chinese writing set, one Chinese brush set, and a sumoi brush set that contains eight brushes and a bamboo mat. And this is the set that I'll be creating my sumi painting in today's lesson. So apart from our eight piece brush set, I'll also be using a hake brush. The paper that I'll be using is a 300 GSM watercolour paper in an A3 format. The watercolour that I'll be using is a Montmartre palette and paint set and it comes with 15 useful colours. Of course I'll be needing some water and some paper towels. Now if you don't know anything about sumai painting, it's a very old art form and the onus is on economy of line and formulation. And what that basically means is subjects are simplified without losing their form. And there is also a very careful set of steps that one must take to get to that finished subject. And it is because of this formulated style that I think this type of thing makes a really great lesson. So today we'll be closely following these techniques as we create these Chinese fish and we'll be painting them the same way as the Chinese have been doing them for centuries. So, Ying Qi Jiang, Wu Man Jiang Tai. So, as I said before, we're going to use the 300 GSM watercolor pad, and I love using this because it's less inclined to buckle when I use lots and lots of water. So. We'll just put it on the table here, get that stuff out of the way, and I'm going to tape it down. Now I'm taping it directly to the table, but you might like to tape it onto a board or something like that. And I'm just using normal household masking tape. So let's open up our brushes, and I'm going to pick the smallest in the set. I dampen the brush, Dip it into the black to create a grey and let's start painting. So I start with the fish's snout and I draw in a gill. Now I draw in the spine and this is really the line of movement or action and that defines the creature's gestalt. We can lay in a little bulge for the belly and the tail and you can already see that that's alive and there's like four lines in it. Draw that table uh, tail then put in the fin and then the other side. Let's start on the other fish now and you can see I'm keeping the brush upright and this is fairly important with Chinese brushwork. Now we have our two fish and I'm just creating a darker, very, very dark black colour to put in the fish's eyes now. Now let us put in our scales and these are just daubs of grey and it looks a little bit messy now but when it dries that'll look absolutely beautiful. Don't speed dry it with a hair dryer, just let it dry naturally. And there we go, there's our fish. And how quick and easy was that? Now let's add a little bit of colour to our painting. <coughs> and put in the blue of the eyes. Now let's move to our number 14 brush, which is our biggest brush. I dip it in the water and then I apply pure water to the fish. So I know that this looks a little bit boring. Why are you adding water without colour? because we're going to drop colour into it. We're going to let the pigment do the work here. We're going to drop a little bit of yellow into our orange. There we go, look at that. That's beautiful. Let 
the pigment do the work. Now here's a great little tip. If you've if the colour is a little bit too intense, you can just dip the towel into it. And how great does that look? It's got a mind of its own, this watercolour. And there we have our fish. Next I take my hake. Look at those lovely soft filaments. I dip it into a little bit of water, a tiny little bit of black, not too much. And then I dip the corner into the blue. This is a very, very subtle colour and it goes over the top of the fish so it looks like they're in the water. I dab away a little bit of extra colour off the fish and now we can put in the weeds in the background. I've laid a fair bit of water so that pigment just dissipates and gives it a nice soft look. Finally, we can do a bit of script work. It's not Chinese, but... And there we have it, our fish. Well, that was great fun, and I hope you give this technique a try. So, until next time, Shida Zhenghua.